Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the system and compressed memory leak, specifically if you have the NTOSK RNL executable taking up a lot of memory in Task Manager. So if you have any specific process that's taking up a tremendous amount of RAM or CPU, it's a very good chance that there are some serious issues going on and we're going to just go over how to resolve it in a very quick and easy to understand manner that shouldn't really do anything harmful to your computer. And if you ever figured out what was causing the problem, you can always re-enable it later. So it's really not a big deal either way, but we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu by left clicking on it one time. And then you want to type in services. And the best match it comes up should say services right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now I'm going to expand the view a little bit. And I'm going to look for something that says super fetch. So I'm going to scroll down here. Right here. And I'm going to click on the stop the service button right here. And now I'm going to double click on Superfetch itself right here. Underneath startup type, I'm going to change it to disabled. And then I'm going to click on apply and OK. Save the change. And then once you've done that, I recommend restarting your computer and you should be good to go. And I would recommend that you try and find what kind of programs and applications might be taking up all this memory. And then when you're able to, I'd recommend restarting it. But it's not a critical Windows service, so it really doesn't make that big of a difference. But it's just something to keep in mind. But I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.